Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very, very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, whenever I announce giveaways, we have one going on right now. You can find more details in the description box below. And whenever I go live, as always, if you are already subscribed thank you so much for being here and spending a few minutes of your day with me today I have the January my Ireland box to share with you and it comes all the way from Dingle Ireland this box is $49.95 per month plus $15.50 in shipping all the way to the US which I think is pretty good in terms of the shipping because sometimes these boxes are pretty darn hefty obviously there's all kinds of deals sometimes there's free gifts with a new subscription or you can get a little price break if you do a longer three month or more subscription I always have the code for you Maui which will save you five dollars and of course I will leave that information for you in the description box now this was kindly sent to me for review and I'm always really excited to see what beautiful items we have from Irish makers in this box let's go ahead and open it up and find out so we have our usual very bright green tissue paper and usually that sticker for some reason just doesn't make it to me um, because like I said sometimes the uh, contents are a little bit hefty so things kind of shift and the the tissue paper usually gets torn so now she has started doing instead of just a few sheets of paper in terms of a nice letter to subscribers she has started doing a booklet I would say for the past few months maybe five or six months which is kind of nice if you like that kind of keepsake she tells you all about what's going on there in Dingle Ireland and what the box what the curation was inspired by for that month so let me go ahead and kind of move things around in here so that I can find it because it is down usually at the bottom along with the uh, recipe card because there's always a recipe so those are like two things that are are kind of staples like features and I do think that they add to the charm of the box for sure they don't necessarily add like a lot of value but I think you're always guaranteed to get the little booklet with the letter from Catherine as well as a recipe card so it would be fun if we had like a really cool um, recipe card holder that we could use or like a nice book with a uh, clear sheets but the recipe cards because they usually do a nice um, image for us they are usually a little bit bigger than your traditional like recipe card holder so let me see all right I found I found all of our information I've kind of pulled everything out so it's all sitting in front of me here is our booklet it says happy new year and then it says it of course in Irish Gaelic which I just butcher so I'm not even gonna try I would love to have the uh, finale pronunciation for uh, for myself for these unboxings so I'm just gonna read to you a little bit about the back so it does say that what's up next we get some spoilers for the next month because they do have a really active Facebook group but she likes these boxes to be a surprise but in the February box which is what you would be getting if you subscribe now there is some Irish made jewelry that's always like one of my favorite things of course I always love the edible treats in this box but the jewelry is always like awesome as well as like the uh, home goods I'm always really excited about those so says it is a handmade piece and uh, they're absolutely we're all gonna love the piece so hopefully I get to review that February box as well so it'd be a great Valentine's gift for sure and it does say that the value of the February box will be well over $77 US so that's awesome and then of course we have a St. Patrick's box coming up for March which should be really fun as well so here is our lovely booklet let's go ahead and see so it just says happy new year a prosperous new year in every way we wish for you with this curation I really wanted to create an atmosphere of complete relaxation for you and to transport you to the Irish hedgerows with this oh there's some spoilers in here so I'm not gonna tell you but you can see she does a really nice job now there's always images to go along with it and you could definitely collect these I did get some feedback from some of you um, recently in the comments from a last unboxing that you actually kind of felt like you needed a little bit of a break because there's so much in terms of reading materials in this in this box and I will say that we have been getting a lot of books lately so I would love to see maybe a book every quarter Order, but not necessarily every month because I definitely agree as someone who has a pretty big TBR pile and also this box is really for people who have some sort of affinity or connection to Ireland I am obviously not Irish but I do think it is a gorgeous country and I love the uh, tradition that's uh, kind of featured in this box as well as a culture of storytelling so I do like the books I don't necessarily always get a chance to read them so 
let me go ahead and flip and see. There's usually a section. We have like, I don't know if this is a song or a poem here about Dingle Bay. Um, and then there's usually a section that tells us all about the maker, some beautiful images again. So I think this is a really kind of fun thing to just kind of get the little newsletter every month. It's almost like what people do with their Christmas cards, but you actually get it every month. Uh, we have another one, uh, it's Minard Castle. Again, I don't know if it's a song or a poem. And then it says, now let's meet this month's maker. So it's kind of towards the end of the booklet. So it looks like we have quite a bit of information for me to share with you. I probably won't read, don't worry. I won't read both facing pages, but I'm just kind of flipping through so I know where to look. But while we are at it, so one of our, it kind of counts as one of our items, but like I said, I think it's part of the charm of the box, but it's not necessarily part of the value. And this looks like a delicious recipe though. Look at that frosting on the top. It's Catherine's delicious Irish carrot cake from County Wicklow. It says, I began making this before I had kids and now we all enjoy making it together. It's a dense cake and I love that sweet ice topping. That sounds awesome. I find it's an easy one to make. Enjoy baking it and devouring a slice with some tea. You may agree that this is the best carrot cake ever. This recipe makes two loaf cakes and you can freeze one or make muffins and buns. Also, I love carrot cake. Let me know if you like carrot cake in the comments below and if you prefer yours with or without walnuts. I am someone who does doesn't like the walnuts in there. I find that they're kind of bitter. So, all right, speaking of, I don't know what to start with, you guys. Let's start with the first thing on there. Since I did pull everything out, this is a beautiful package. This is lovely. Some, it's from the Lismore Food Company. It's dark chocolate and cardamom fine biscuits. Look how lovely that is, you guys. I'm so excited. I wonder how many are in here. Maybe it will tell us. So it says, can't stop eating these. They are melt in the mouth delicious. We adore the packaging also, and we reuse some of ours to store pens and kids coloring pencils. What a good idea. When you finish these little nibbles from heaven, let us know if you've reused the tub and what clever way you've discovered for its use. We need ideas. We've eaten rather a lot and have a couple left over. All right, you guys, maybe you could make it into a little flower base or something. It says, firstly, let us tell you about the town of Lismore. It was founded by St. Carthage in the 7th century and has an extraordinary history and a dramatic location on the Great River Blackwater. The town is enveloped by rich green pastures and magnificent dairy farms from where our most important ingredient, pure golden butter, comes, while the surrounding areas are renowned for excellence in the quality and provenance of the food that it produces. So can the Lismore Company, um, can the Lismore Food Company brings together three artisans who share a love of fine ingredients and a life time of experience in food. Beth Ann Smith's family history and food stretches back to Smith's stores, a fine food delicatessen and bakery on Cork's Patrick Street. Having trained at Ballymolo Cookery School, she is now the head chef at Lismore Castle. Brothers Owen and Ken Madden's family opened a bakery and public house on Lismore's Main Street in the early 1800s. Now called the Summer House and home to the Lismore Food Company, they continue this rich tradition of baking in the same historic location. So in October of 2014, the three biscuiteers, very cute, the three biscuiteers, Biscuiteers, combine their cookery and baking expertise to launch a range of fine sweet biscuits beautifully packaged in hot orange tubes with a golden disc inspired by the work of the late Irish artist Patrick Scott. A year later they launched two outstanding savory biscuits as an homage to the coastline of Ireland. So I am very very excited. It does say that it's great with coffee, Earl Grey tea, or chai, or probably all by itself as well. So I'm very excited you guys. I will definitely take some photos and show you over on Instagram. So let me put that off to the side. Now let's see. It says meet. Uh, oh, so Sister Stan, Finding Peace uh, was like the abbreviation SR, which like in my brain, I always think is um, senior, but I believe it's Sister Stan. Yes. So Finding Peace. So we did get some more reading material. Looks like a pretty like hefty book here, guys. So let's see. Uh, let's see what it says about this. So Sister Stan is from the Dingle Peninsula and I love her wonderful Carrie accent when I hear her on the radio. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm wondering what this book is actually about because it's just giving us a whole history of her being appointed as the first chair of the National Committee on Pilot Schemes to Combat Poverty in Ireland in 1974. She moved to Dublin in the early 1980s. In 1998, Sister Stan founded the Sanctuary, a meditation spirituality center in the heart of Dublin City. In 2001, she established two other initiatives, the My Immigrant Council of Ireland, an independent national organization working to promote the rights of immigrants through information, advocacy, and legal aid, and the Young Social Innovators, a national showcase providing an opportunity for students to become involved in social issues. Sister Stan has also written thousands of articles that have been published in Ireland and elsewhere. She lectures on social 
social issues and policies, is a frequent keynote speaker at many events, and regularly gives talks to many diverse groups in Ireland, Europe, and outside of Europe. So a wonderful, inspiring woman indeed. So let me just see. It says that there's collaborations in here with some probably um, more well-known Irish writers says, while the COVID-19 pandemic has been a challenging time, it has also offered an opportunity for individuals to open up to an inner world, a time to find out that there is a human need for something beyond the routine of everyday life. During this time, Sister Stan gathers writings from some well-known and some not so well-known people to understand how others bring peace into their lives every day. Where and how do you find peace in your daily life was the question posed to the contributors, including TV presenter Miriam O'Callaghan, rugby player Johnny Sexton, Singer Liam O. Ma Olin Maunlai, actor Tommy Tiernan, and women's health advocate Vicki Phelan, among others. Each individual had something different to offer, so the material here is diverse and wide-ranging. What is clear from all the contributions is that peace is about relationships, and ultimately it is about love. So I actually kind of like uh, compilations like this, and it's a great idea, and obviously it is inspired by the uh, events of the last two years and how we all find our personal peace, so I do think that might be something nice, and I do like uh, things like that where you can just read small segments of it and find the ones that really resonate with you. It is a hefty, hefty book though again. All right, so we got something a little more fun and whimsical this time. So it looks like, oh, it's like col a collaboration with the Sock Co-op and My Ireland Box because it's got their little logo on it. And you can kind of see this like landscape with a tower, it looks like. So it says, it has been a busy time for designer Anna Guerin, who launched her Sock Co-op last year. The idea to create these quirky Irish socks was inspired by the ancient round towers dotted across Ireland, and in particular, the monastic settlement of Glendala, Glendalough, County Wicklow, Anna's unisex socks feature beautiful panoramic images of some of our favorite Irish places and landmarks. These cute socks have a healthy carbon footprint too. They are made with the finest combed cotton in their family-owned factory, and the yarn is Ecotex 100% certified, so that means there's no harmful or nasty chemicals used when they are made. It's very like colorful, so it's got this like nice sunset or sunrise, I don't know, and in the foreground down here on the foot part, you can see like there's a river, so I'm not going to open it up right now just in case I do re-gift it just because you guys know I'm not really a big sock wearer, but it kind of makes me happy that it's unisex because my husband does like to wear kind of like fun, playful socks. It just says adult size. I don't know that they will fit him, but he might want to give it a try because he loves everything that comes in this box. He's always really excited about the treats. He was really excited when we got the calendar in the last box. He took it to his office to have it there for work. He is always asking me when we can visit Ireland again. I'm like, whenever you buy me the plane ticket, I will be happy to go. So um, I'm very excited to re receive this box and he is always really excited to uh, share in the spoils. So all right, we got the socks. And then finally, we got one more item. So honestly, not a ton of items in this box. We got the lovely book, the Lismore Food Company biscuits, uh, the socks, and then of course we got our booklet and our recipe card. And then finally, from Dingle Druid, some Irish hedgerow bath salts that came in this little uh, brown bag. And then there was in the bottom of the, uh, so it kind of unfolds like this, but the, the weight of it is kind of here in this bottom part. There was a lot of information about about uh, the ingredients here. So let me just read a little bit about this to you guys. So it says, nestled in the Irish countryside, overlooking the serene view of Dingle Bay, lies a cottage with a half door. It is in this magical setting from her kitchen table that Julie Malone creates her Dingle Druid natural beauty and aroma products. Julie grew up in Dingle, deep within the Irish countryside, and from childhood has felt inspired by mother nature. In her beautiful garden, she grows all the plants that she requires to make natural beauty products. And not only that, she thrives on creating beautiful beauty products products with her most treasured ingredient, the flora that she gathers from the landscape around her. Nature's gift. Honeybees live on the land with her and provide the beeswax and honey that she uses in her soaps and balms. We love that the pure clean water added to each lovingly made batch of all her creations is fetched from her very own well. We've been excited to send you Julie's bath and foot salts that include all the wonderful Irish flowers found during the summertime in the Irish countryside and in Dingle in particular. These salts will create feelings of relaxation, peace and harmony and joy. There's something very special about Julie and this magic is absorbed into each and every one of her foot bath and foot soaks. Um, so it does tell us again, like I said, more about it. So it says, look, looks like lavender is the primary scent because of all of its calming effects, of course. But there is also nettle, hawthorn, elder, linden, fuchsia and rose uh, that were foraged for the bath salts. And she kind of talks about what each of those ingredients does. So that is kind of a nice little addition to have 
have. Now you guys know I am not a bath girl, so this is one of those boxes where I have a lot of gifts to share with people because I'm sure that the uh, someone who does like to get a good foot soak or a good bath will enjoy those and knowing that they came from Ireland and that it's very much a clean bath product. Um, the book I will probably peruse the cookies are definitely going to be mine and the socks I'll probably regift because again I'm just not a sock or a bath girl. So I thought this was a lovely box, definitely kind of a fresh start feeling for the new year but not necessarily as curated as themed as some of the other boxes are. But you guys let me know. I'm just always so excited to be introduced to these small businesses, these artisan makers throughout Ireland that she sources items from. So again I think it's a lovely box especially if you kind of miss Ireland, you have that connection to Ireland in any way or maybe you just would love to go there and so you want to experience the culture through a subscription box. Definitely check it out if that is the case for any of you. If you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and I totally forgot to give you guys a secret password but let's make the secret password. What should it be you guys? I think the secret password this time around will be castle because they talked about some castles. All right I'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.